Hey guys, we're celebrating the end of Angel by ranking all of the things. Sweeney broke all of the rules yesterday and she decided to do top and bottom things that Angel did. So that meant that I wanted to break the rules too. I couldn't just go back to ranking episodes. That would be silly. And so I went through all of my old ranking lists and refreshed my memory on 110 episodes. And what stuck out to me was something that Sweeney has said, I believe Kirstie said it, and I've said it time and time again. It's that Angel does arcs better than episodes. It's not as memorable as what Buffy did, where there are certain episodes that just stick out in your mind. To me, there are certain story arcs in Angel that stick in my mind for better or for worse. My point. My point is that I didn't actually remember a ton of the episodes that I was reviewing. I did remember a ton of moments. That said, I'm going to rank the five worst moments in Angel according to me. Number five, Cordelia goes to a higher plane season three. I remember watching Angel sink to the bottom of the ocean and be like, oh my goodness, what the hell? And then Cordelia sends and it's like, oh my goodness, what the hell? Number four, Gun kills the professor for Fred in season four. I think the problems with Fred and Gun are numerous and plenty, but that moment just really sticks out into my head as what was wrong with their relationship, how they mistreated Fred as a character, and in general how these men treated women and um, for a long time they just made decisions for them and you know a lot of them are, are guilty of that and here we see a prime example. Number three worst moment, Angel steals everyone's memories about Connor. Season four. Season four. We got a little bit of of backlash about stealing people's memories in season five, which I appreciated so much. It was a Connor centric episode. It was a great episode. But at the same time, I don't think we really ever saw the the impact of Angel violating these people's trust and bodies and lives so much that he made the decision he was going to steal everyone's memories of this kid, the kid that they you know were attached to emotionally at least for a while. So. That was just yicky, and I don't think the show handled it in, in the proper way, especially considering how angry people should and could be that that happened. And it's never even really clear that everyone gets their memories back, just Wesley, who feels guilty enough to kind of be like, yeah, oh man, it's okay, you know, <laughs> it's fine that you stole my memories. But I don't think that the rest of the fan gang would necessarily feel that way, so this moment, nope. Number two, Wesley steals Connor in season three. I get it. I get it. And I think that it was important in Wesley's character development. And actually, maybe one of my favorite moments is that Wesley later, without his memories, betrays Angel again. So it's kind of like indicative of who Wesley is as a person, that he's reached this point that he's going to, you know, shuck authority and just do what he thinks is right, even if it's not so right. You know, he's operating in the gray. I get that you know, in the larger sense, but the entire storyline, like what starts there in that moment, and the fact that he would not communicate with anyone about this super intense, super important thing, and he would just steal his boss's, maybe like good friend's baby. Just... <clears throat> Number one. Cordeval <laughs> tells Connor that he shouldn't die a virgin. I'm pretty sure that's in that episode. It's the episode with the Connor and Cordy sex. I didn't actually revisit it. Like, I didn't want to remind myself of what was in there, but I'm pretty sure it was something along the lines of, we should do this before we die. And then everyone watching that episode died a thousand little deaths. So um, stick around and soon you will see my top moments and top episodes. See you then.